Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. Introduction to Nanotoxicology. What is Nanotoxicology? Nanotoxicology is the study of the harmful effects of nanoparticles on living organisms, including humans, animals, and plants. So, is nanotoxicology important? Yeah, it's very important. With the increasing use of nanoparticles in various industries such as medicine, electronics, and energy, it is essential to understand their potential risks to human health and the environment. So, what are these nanoparticles? What are its properties? Nanoparticles are extremely small particles with dimensions typically less than 100 nanometers. These nanoparticles have unique physical and chemical properties due to their small size, high surface area to volume ratio, and surface reactivity. These properties can result in increased toxicity compared to their bulk counterparts. But, how do these nanoparticles enter the human body? Nanoparticles can enter the body through inhalation, ingestion, or skin contact, and their size and surface properties can affect their ability to penetrate biological barriers. Then, how do these nanoparticles induce toxicity in our body cells? Nanoparticles can induce toxicity through various mechanisms, such as oxidative stress, inflammation, genotoxicity, and immunotoxicity. Is there any research going on, which is based on nanotoxicology? There is an ongoing research to develop standardized methods for evaluating the toxicity of nanoparticles and to understand their long-term effects on human health and the environment. So, is there any regulatory considerations put forward by agencies? Yeah, there sure is. Regulatory agencies are developing guidelines and regulations for the safe use of nanoparticles in various industries. However, there are challenges in assessing the potential risks of nanoparticles, such as the lack of standardized methods and limited knowledge about their long-term effects. But, nanotoxicology must have both pros and cons, yeah, right? Yeah, of course the pros include helps to identify potential risks. Nanotoxicology studies help to identify the potential risks of exposure to nanoparticles on human health and the environment. Enables the development of safer products. By understanding the toxicity of nanoparticles, scientists can develop safer products with fewer risks to human health and the environment. Facilitates regulations. Nanotox Toxicology studies provide information that regulators can use to develop guidelines and regulations for the safe use of nanoparticles. And the cons of nanotoxicology involve lack of standardized methods. The field of nanotoxicology is still relatively new, and there is a lack of standardized methods for testing the toxicity of nanoparticles, which makes it difficult to compare results across studies. Limited knowledge. There is still limited knowledge about the long-term effects of exposure to nanoparticles, which makes it challenging to develop accurate risk assessments. Ethical concerns. There are ethical concerns about the use of animal models in nanotoxicology studies, as they involve exposing animals to potentially harmful nanoparticles. Overall, while nanotoxicology provides important insights into the potential risks of exposure to nanoparticles, Further research is needed to develop standardized methods and increase our understanding of the long-term effects of exposure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my brand new website, planetdecoded.com.